Hi guys, how are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 13th September 2022. My name is T. S. V. Radhavan and I live in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. I am a published author with Amazon Kindle and paperback. I write on spiritualism, fiction, and assorted subjects. Spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject. This is my spiritual vlog on YouTube. Hari Bol TRSV Nectar N E C T A R nectar. In this particular video, we have been discussing about the knowledge and information that we have gleaned through the study of spiritual books, scriptures, contemplation on the material universe, and meditation on the spiritual universe. This particular video is no exception to that rule. In fact, it is only an extension of the same. Yesterday, in my previous video, we observed that a living human being who is a common living human entity acts and a wise common human living entity reacts according to the permutation and combination of the three layers of his or her subtle body, that is the etheric senses, the astral mind, and the causal intelligence. These layers of these three qualities give their vibrations and the total combines to a permutation and combination which gets an outlet through the gross body of that particular human living entity. You must have heard about the very famous proverb, three times lucky. Actually, after I contemplated on this subject, I came to know that three times lucky is based on these three subtle layers of body of a human living entity. His permutation and combination of these layers decides on his or her performance. Kindly note, I am say, saying performance, I am not talking about success. There is a spiritual term called free will. Every human living entity who has these three subtle bodies and a gross body has the free will to act or react according to the permutation and combination of the vibrations of these 
three federal bodies and this independence of a human living entity is known as free will. There is a particular shloka in Bhagavad Gita. Karmanye vadika raste ma faleshu kadachan. This is the first line of that shloka. It means you have the right to do your duty, but you do not have the right to decide upon its results. That is what this particular term means. Free will means that a human living entity has the right to act, but his or her success, extent of success or otherwise depends on his or her karma, destiny and past actions. That said, let us go into this particular matter of action and reaction through free will according to the permutation and combination of the vibration of these three subtle bodies. I said permutation and combination for a very particular reason. Every human living entity is unique. You may act in a way which will be different from that of the other. Permutation and combination means that the vibrations from all the three bodies have been taken and given an outlet through the gross body of every human living entity. It depends on the personal choice of that person to decide whether the percentage of etheric senses will be more or astral mind will be more or causal intelligence will be more or all three will be equal etc. For example, in this particular permutation and combination one person may have 75% etheric senses, 15% astral mind, and 10% causal intelligence. The other person may have 75% astral mind, 15% etheric senses, and 10% causal intelligence. The third may have 75% causal intelligence, 15% astral mind, and 10% etheric senses. There may be several such combinations and permutations. The performance of an act by a particular human living entity depends on which particular combination or permutation that, purpose, that person prefers. It depends on them. Some may have etheric senses in the four, others may have astral mind in the four, the third may have causal intelligence in the four. Secondly, there is a word called failure is the pillar of success. This permutation and combination keeps changing in the life of a human living entity according to his or her failure or success in a particular action or act. Since 
the pillars are nothing but failures that this person encountered due to his or her permutation and combination. First time it may have been of one type. Again, when he failed, he or she may have made a change in it and so on until that person succeeds in his or her purpose in life. Kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this particular subject. Please give me your expert opinions and ideas so that I may keep reminding the society about them through my vlog and we may come out with something which is beneficial to the whole society. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that I may keep reminding you of my other videos. Till we meet in my next video, it is good morning from TSV Raghavan.